Over the past couple of years, I've done so many videos testing out various AI products from various companies, some of which have been amazing and I've done so many videos on social media from Instagram and TikTok and they've really impressed people, with the most popular being ChatGPT. As many of you would have known by now, ChatGPT has rolled out an image generation model that allows you to generate images of yourself in really innovative ways so you can upload an image of yourself and it generates it into an animated form. It doesn't only stop there, it can generate flyers, it can generate thumbnails based on instructions you give it, which is really, really incredible and it's really impressed me. But one popular part of the AI generation model is people generating cartoon images out to themselves and it's all over social media, whether it's Twitter, that's X, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, you see a lot of those images being put out there and a lot of people have been wondering how to do it. In this video, I'll show you how to do it. But then again, I'll show you how to turn that generated image into a video that actually has your voice and syncs with the mount of the generated image. So the image you generate will turn into an animated video that can move its head, that can move its lips, even to a point where it can move your hands, it can mimic your movement based on the prompt you type into it, whilst retaining the exact voice of yourself. So I'll show you how to do it. And if this is something you're interested in and you've been looking forward to trying it, do leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm Desi and let's begin. So to get started with generating the image, you obviously need to have access to ChatGPT. Currently, when that feature was rolled out, it was only limited to the Plus and Pro versions, but it's now available for the free version with limitation on up to four or five generated images per day. But that's not going to be a problem. You just need to generate at least one or two images. So you need to have access to ChatGPT. For that, you can actually do it on your phone or on your laptop. So for this video, I'll be using my laptop to take you through the entire setup process and how to generate that image. So let's begin. You first have to go to chatgpt.com, right? Go to chatgpt.com. I would recommend you signing up or signing in. The best thing to do is to just sign in with Google so you don't have to type in password, remember your username and all of that. So just sign in with Google and now we have to generate the image, right? You get the whole interface right here and you have to generate the image. So tap the plus button on the dialog box or the input box that's beneath the screen. Tap the plus button, tap upload from computer. When you tap that, select the image you want to turn into an animated image. So for this, I'll use an image of myself. Then the prompt you type is, generate a Ghibli style and Pixar style images out of this. What this does is it generates two images, one with the Ghibli popular style you've seen all over social media and one in the Pixar cartoonish style, which I find to be really impressive. So you type that prompt, you tap the enter button or tap the send button and it generates the two images for you, just like this. Based on the image you submitted for the AI to generate this image, you get images that look quite similar to what you uploaded. So this, you can see, looks very similar to me. It has the same name I have on my cap, what I have on my shirt, my logo, my microphone, what I have in my background. It generated very accurately and it looks like me. So this is good. Once you get the image you want, just tap the download button to download all the images onto your PC. That's step one. Now you have the images you want. You can actually just put it on your social media, put it on your story, change it to your profile picture, whatever you want to do with it. But that's not what this video is purely about. It's about showing you how to generate that image into an animated video that has your voice. So to do that, open another tab in your browser and tap hydra.com. H-E-D-R-A dot com, Hydra dot com. Once you tap it, it opens this website and this is the website you're going to use to generate the animated video out of the animated image ChatGPT generated. I also recommend again, logging in, so signing up, sign up with Google so you don't have to remember your email, your password and all of that. Just sign up. You're automatically given about 400 credits to generate the video. Get about 400 credits to generate the video. That's free 400 credits to generate the video. After your 400 is done, you have to obviously buy new credits. That's when you subscribe to the whole thing. That is a secondary issue. But for now, you have 400 credits for free. And to generate a video, 
all you have to do is go down here and tap image frame tap upload image select the image that we downloaded from ChatGPT. any one of them whichever looks best for you choose that one i'm going with the ghibli style you tap it and tap on upload that's one two if you want the animated video to have or retain your voice you can do two things either you upload an already recorded audio or record natively within hydra.com I already have an audio I want you to test out. So you tap on the audio script, tap on upload audio. That's if you have the audio already recorded. If you want to record natively, you tap on record audio. But for this, I'll tap on upload audio. Then a pop-up box comes out. You select the audio you're looking for. So let's use this one for now. You upload the audio. The audio has to be about 20 seconds. So if you upload an audio that's longer, you can actually trim it down to 20 seconds and you're good to go. So once you're done trimming it down to 20 seconds, just tap on add to video. Now to the prompt or script, what we'll be typing and what I want him to do is, I want him to be happy when talking. So it doesn't look so generic or it doesn't look sad. So I'll type, make him happy whilst speaking, right? That's what I want and I tap the send or generate button. Generating an animated video takes around 140 credits. So bear in mind, I think you can create about three until your credits gets done. So just tap on it. It will take some time depending on the number of people that are using the platform at the moment. That is the number of people that have queued for their videos or for their pictures to be generated into AI videos. And also depending on internet connection. You don't have to leave this window. You have to stay on this for it to work. It can tell you it may take about three hours, but based on my previous test, it takes about roughly 15 to 20 minutes. That may be linked to your internet connection. So keep that in mind. Once it's done, you end up getting a video that looks like this. And as you can see, it mimics my voice. It looks like me. It's moving its head. It's moving its eyes, which is really cool. So look at this video. Tell me what you think about it. If you ever wanted to send money from Ghana to Nigeria, there's an easy way to do it thanks to MTM More Money. They've added a cross-border option which allows you to send from... You see, this sounds exactly like me based on the audio uploaded and it's synced to the mouth of the animated video. The eyes move, the head moves, and it looks very organic. I see this being used for faceless content or people looking to enter into the animated scene but don't know how to animate videos and rather be comfortable using an AI-generated image or AI-generated video whilst it retains its voice. So this is a really cool platform to turn your images into AI-generated videos. How cool is that? If you found this video helpful, do leave a like as well as subscribing to my channel. Also share with your friends and family for everyone to try it out. I'm Desi, thank you for watching and I'll catch you again in my next video. Peace.